Sing it with me, church. God, God is able to do just what He said He would do. He's gonna fulfill. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on Him, church. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up on you. He's able. Sing. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, oh. He's able. He's able. Oh, oh, oh. Sing with me. God is able. God is able to do just what he said he would do. My God. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on Him. Don't give up on God. Because He won't give up on you. He's able. Oh, 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 oh. He's able. He's able. I want someone right now under this anointing of God to type below this video. He's able. He's able. He's able. Can someone just lift both hands to heaven and prophesy over your life and over your family, over your situation? He's able. He's able. My God is able. Sing it with me. God is able. God is able to do just what He said He would do. He's going to fulfill. He's going to fulfill every promise to you don't give up don't give up on god because he won't give up on you he's able sing oh oh oh, 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 oh. he's able he's able oh oh oh, 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 oh. god is able God is able to do just what he said he would do. Mighty God, he's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on him. Don't give up on God. Come on. Because he won't give up on you. He's able. Oh, oh. I'm here to tell somebody this morning, my God is able, your God is able, He's able, He's able. Come on, type below this video, He's able. Oh, 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 oh. He's able, He's able. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, me and Pastor Amy, we join our faith with your wonderful people here this morning. Minister to them, strengthen them, encourage them on this morning, oh God. You know everything going on in their lives. Touch them. Heal their sick bodies. Answer their prayers. Heal their marriages, Lord. Cause the communication lines to open up again between that husband and wife who are not speaking to one another. That child that has walked away from their parents. Bring restoration. That one that's facing eviction. Make a way where there seems to be no way. You promise us in your word, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. David said, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Do it again, Lord. With every breath, with every breath that I am able and I will sing of the goodness God, tell him your goodness is running after me. Your goodness is running after, is running after me. 
sing it to the king. Your goodness is running after, is running after me. With my life laid down, I'm surrendered now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running after, is running after me. Tell him your goodness. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. With my life laid down, I'm surrendered now. I give you everything. Your goodness. Good morning to you, saints of the Most High God, as we continue our series, Born to Win. You are the right one for the job. Can someone lift your hands to heaven and prophesy to yourself, declare it, I'm the right one for the job. I'm the right one for the job. Glory to God. He knows exactly God is up to something in your life. You are the right one for the job. In the name of Jesus Christ, glory to God. Many of you know in the month of May 21st, we are launching Miracle Healing Center Church right here in the city of McKinney, Texas. We invite all of you to be out to show your support, to show your love. You that's without a church home in the DFW area, we invite you to join us. Become a part of this church, a life-giving church. One who loves people and demonstrates the power of God. We have the information on the screen. If you'd love to be a part of the church, visit that web link. Visit that website. Fill out your information. And someone on our ministry team will get in touch with you. What a mighty God we serve. I said, what a mighty God we serve. We would love to have you a part of our MHC family. Amen. May the 21st is quickly approaching and we are excited. We are thrilled beyond measure. God is answering our prayers. The vision is coming to pass in the name of Jesus. You that live around the U.S., our partners and friends who would love to be a part of that service, begin to make plans. Mark that date on your calendar, May the 21st, a Sunday morning. Miracle Healing Center Church, official launch right here in the city of McKinney, Texas. We are beside ourselves. <laughs> Glory to God in the highest. Amen. <laughs> So on this morning, we are talking about you are the right one for the job. Now, we are continuing in the book of Judges because we see the children of Israel, they're crying out to God, and God confronts them about their evil, their sin. And of course, they are making, they are, they are making things right with God. They're getting hungry for their deliverance. And sometimes before deliverance comes, we got to get sin out of the way. we got to make it right. Come on, somebody. And so now after sin is out the way, the Bible says in verse 6, well, I mean, sin wasn't all the way out of the way because God have to prepare this man and use him to help get rid of some of the foolishness. The Bible says in verse 11 of Judges chapter 6, then the angel of the Lord came and sat beneath the great tree at Ophrah, which belongeth to Joash of the clan of Abiezer. Gideon, son of Joash, was threshing wheat at the bottom of a wine press to hide the grain from the Midianites. The angel of the Lord appeared to him and said, Mighty hero, the Lord is with you. The KJV said, Mighty man of God, <laughs> mighty man of valor, the Lord is with you. Sir, Gideon replied, if the Lord is with us, why has all this happened to us and where all the miracles our ancestors told us about? Didn't they say the Lord brought us up out of Egypt, but now the Lord has abandoned us and handed us over to the Midianites? 
Gideon, you are absolutely correct. God handed you over to the Midianites because the people of God had turned their backs on God and was sinning against God. And in response, because the people begin to cry out to God for deliverance. In response to their cry, God always raises up a man or a woman. In response to the cry of the people, God raises somebody up to answer that prayer. Are you listening to me? Then the Lord turned to him and said, go with the strength you have and rescue Israel from the Midianites. I am sending you. Just how he sent Moses, just how he sent Joshua, Elijah, he is sending his servant Gideon. But Lord, Gideon replied, how can I rescue Israel? See, I love Gideon. Gideon is not pretending to be a know-it-all. Let me tell you something. When God asks you to do something, more than likely, you have no clue how to accomplish that thing. All that is is confirmation that it's God talking to you. You have no idea. And, and you know what? You feel foolish because you know you don't have the wherewithal. You don't have the funds. You don't have the connections to make certain things happen. Normally, when God calls you to do something, you need all the help you can get. All that is is proof that it's God talking to you. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You can't do it by yourself. Gideon felt foolish. I felt like that over and over and over when God asked me to do something. Gideon said, how can I rescue Israel? I, I don't even know how to do it. I've never done anything like this before. How do I do this? My clan is the weakest in the whole tribe of Manasseh, and I am the least in my entire family. This, 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 you see, you see, Gideon was like a great, great, great grandson of Joseph. <laughs> Manasseh was the son of Joseph. That's the clan that he was a part of. The Lord said to him, I will be with you. Glory to God. God, someone lift your hands to heaven right now. Come on. Lift your hands to heaven and say, God is with me. I want you to type below this video right now. God, is, I want you to type below this video right now. God is with me. God is with me. He said, as I was with Moses, this is what he told Joshua. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. Do you realize God's on your side? God is with you. Listen, Monday, this past Monday, on King Television, the presence of God was made manifest. And those who were blind, they said the phone lines were jammed. Miracle testimonies. People who were blind receiving their sight. Those who were deaf began hearing. I was so excited. I felt the anointing of God so strong. To God be the glory. When God is with you, He makes the impossible possible. God just blows our mind now unto Him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works in us. He's still the same yesterday, today, and forever. Watch this. So the Lord said to him, I will be with you, my God. I will be with you, Gideon. I will be with you, fear thou not. I'm with you, Gideon, and you will destroy the Midianites, if you are fighting against one man. Gideon replied, if you are truly going to help me, show me a sign. I, I need confirmation. Come on. Who, who, have you ever been there where God's talking to you and you think you're going crazy? You, I, I need confirmation. I, I need, I need God, give me confirmation. That ain't, there ain't nothing wrong with that. That's, that, that just means you need God. You ain't, you ain't looking to yourself. I'm afraid of folks who don't need confirmation. No, I need confirmation because the Bible says in the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. I need confirmation. Confirmation gives you an assurance. Confirmation gives you confidence. My God. 
slip your hands to heaven and say, God, confirm it. If this is you, confirm it, God. Confirm it, my God. Lord, have mercy. Gideon replied, if you are truly going to help me, show me a sign to prove that it is really the Lord speaking to me. Don't go away. Gideon said, wait right here, Mr. Angel. Don't go away until I come back and bring my offering to you. He answered, I will stay here until you return. Gideon hurried home. He cooked a young goat, and with a basket of flour, he baked some bread without yeast. Then carrying the meat in a basket and the broth in a pot, he brought them out and presented them to the angel who was under the great tree. The angel, the angel of God said to him, place the meat and the unleavened bread on this rock and pour the broth over it. And Gideon did as he was told. Then the angel of the Lord touched the meat and the bread with the tip of the staff in his hand. And fire flamed up from the rock and consumed all he had. And the angel of the Lord disappeared. When Gideon realized that it was the angel of the Lord, he cried out, O sovereign Lord, I'm doomed. I have seen the angel of the Lord face to face. It is all right, the Lord replied. Do not be afraid. You will not die. Listen, in response to the prayers of the people, God visits Gideon and begins to confirm to him that he has called him to deliver the children of Israel from out of the hands of the Midianites. Gideon's mind is blown. Gideon didn't think much of himself. I'm talking to somebody. You don't think much of yourself. Glory to God. But the Holy Ghost want me to tell you, you are the right one for the job. Come on, lift your hands to heaven and declare it. I am the right one for the job. God have chosen you. He knows exactly what he is doing. God don't make no mistakes. God is never wrong. The Bible says, the Bible says, as for God, all his ways are perfect. God is wanting me to tell you this morning. You are the right one for the job. God have chosen you. Just lift your hands to heaven and tell him yes. I surrender all to you. Everything I give. Everything. I give to you withholding, withholding nothing, withholding nothing, withholding nothing, withholding nothing. I surrender and I surrender all to you. Everything. Everything I give to you Withholding, withholding nothing Withholding, I give myself, come on I give myself away I give myself, I give myself away So you can use me Give myself away. Listen. God wants your yes to him. He knows exactly what he's doing. God, I've chosen you because you are the right one for the job. Just lift your hands to heaven and say, Here am I, Lord. Send me. I surrender to your will. I surrender to your way. Here am I. Send me. I'm available to you in the name of Jesus. Listen, we want to give you an opportunity to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. To do so, visit us online at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. 
that address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the ministry Zell account. That email address is info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry cash app account. That address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also text to give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number 45888 and the link will automatically be sent to you. You can also mail your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 75070. Never forget, me and my beautiful wife, Pastor Amy, we love you, we appreciate you, we'll never take you for granted. We look forward to seeing you again on tomorrow morning as we continue the series, Born to Win. God bless you. Bye-bye.